There's some useless information. Well, I didn't know Barry played in the CBFL. He played one season at Forest in 2000. Yeah. Well, look, the amount of much coin he got for that. Start of the sheets. <laughs> Start of the final term. Lots of sheets. Ball comes out. <laughs> James gets it away. Playing paper bags. Gets it over the top. Etridge to James again. 55 out. High kick. Somebody take a mark in there. For James! Hey! Taking it. Here they come. The old man. And this is where the mark. highlights package starts. The first of 10 goals. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, now they really have to make sure they they keep that pressure up. When Balpo still get this first one, Winch get the next one. That's what they got. Yep. That's what they got to do. Twenty-five out, slight angle, Justin Tar. Yeah, Unless of course Tari misses. Is mm-hmm. that it? Oh, it's going. I thought it was thirty-nine minutes. Settle out. Oh, jeez, it was forty. That's yeah. why I picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> Tar comes in. I thought, oh god, we've stuffed it up for the last quarter. Comes in, right foot kick, and it's. It's a behind, I think. <laughs> so one goal, two. Seriously. Lucky we're not a close game. 6 10, 46, Bell Post Hill. Winch 14, 13, 97. <laughs> Smith's old blood Suzuki, minute played. Ball out, and it's Morrison that takes it. And he goes quickly towards centre wing in front. Well, over the back. Brooks can't take the mark. Oh, well, trying to claim that. I don't think so. And the mark went over the uh, line. Oh, You're well. kidding me. Well. You are kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, though. It was in the grandstand, the second touch. <laughs> not even sure if he had the first touch. Well, he did the first, but he didn't He didn't have the second. He got the third, but it was definitely over the line, Grub. You're right. So, Ball Barton doing some ruck work. Carriage of well red on top of the contest. Goes into the half-forward line. Mark not taken out there. Muir comes through. Couldn't pick it up. Hernan it is. He's trying to force his way out of the contest. A little bit more urgency there from the Bell Post Hill defence. And the ball is now going to come back to the umpire. He's just into between centre wing and half forward. Bell Post Hill, Ruckworth goes at it. Out the back it comes. We're heading towards the boundary line now. And it's uh, taken over the line by Fantella. And a throw in to take place. I think... Uh, Cam Matty's been put on ice for the last yep. quarter. I don't think he'll be uh, wandering back out. on his shoulder. Is he? Yeah. yeah. So I don't think he'll stay there, and he might miss next week's game against Bannockburn too. So just to spell him up, it's a ball thrown back in by the umpire. Again, tap down. It's uh, on centre wing. Well, a little tap along the ground's okay. Picked up by James and uh, pushed along the ground by Welsh, and the ball runs over the boundary line. Going to have a throw in the game through centre wing. A bit little to go pushing blokes around while she got Yeah, I know. So thrown back in again. Ruckman go at it. Barton, the big knock forward, goes to Welve. Dosen, little tap off the ground, goes towards Sulis. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. Picked up nicely there Brown. by Brown. He was tackled and brought to ground. Another ball up to take place, pointed to the centre square. Oh, I think that should have been in the free I don't think you're allowed to do that. Yeah, I don't think so. Dozen had it. Kicks around the body, goes into the half forward line, holds Fiend. He tries to take possession. He does, but the ball runs over the boundary line. So as we kick towards three and a half minutes in this final quarter, Winchelsea are 14 13. The Bell Post Hill are 6 9. Sorry, 6 10. The man is throwing. Barton. In the ruck now against Brooks. Barton gets it down. Back of the pack, Fantella. Loses the football in the tackle. Walsh handball was okay. Inside to Sprig. Back towards Brown. His handball. Set a task. Lentini, 50 out. Goes towards goal. And no mark taken. Winch got the numbers back there. Jackson doesn't want to run it through for a behind. Gets the handball, then goes with a long, long, wide kick. And Flacavento can't keep it in. So they've uh, done pretty well there, Winch, to get it out. But... uh, 65 around from the Bell Post Hill goal. Boundary throw in. Out of side. So a throw in. Barton. And Brooks. Barton again with a left fist. Berg leaves it behind. Welve gets it inside. 50. Tar. Handball. Over the top to Lima. He's been a quiet today. Kick by Dosen across the uh, 50 is okay. And Muir takes the mark. He chips it out to Welve. Still 50 out. He chips it in boards. Better. Zulix takes a good mark. Or shoot him up from 45 out directly in front. So 
No, Zulix, who hasn't travelled the scorers yet this afternoon. Shoot from 45 out directly in front. Comes in. Yet to score a goal this season. We might change that. Yeah, he's kicked one now. Even that's a goal. Maybe. Him. Yeah, no, that's a goal. <laughs> uh, so Zulix <laughs> kicks his first. Seventh for Belpo still. They get a 7 10 52. Trail Winchell C 14 13 97. And that is on the Smith Holden Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. Five and a half played. Well, normally I say about the side that's trailing by a few goals at this stage, you know, we know they won't give up, but we've never seen Belpo still in this position, so I don't know whether they will or whether they won't. They're always winning by about now. Mm. I reckon they had to, Tari had to kick the first one and get another couple of quick ones. It's yeah. just taken such a long time. Although... They need a goal every roughly three to four minutes, don't they? To not give really. Something. Not really, because the quarter could go for 50 minutes here. <laughs> you just never know. Nah. Right, back with the umpire in the middle of the ground. We said Barton now in doing some ruck work. And he's up against Brooks. So both Ruckman go at it. Ball away. This time Fantella runs onto it. On the left boot, he goes into the half-forward line. Wallen's there. Read it nicely. Brings the ball to ground. Again, he's got support. Morrison on hands and knees. Tapped he's already ankles. played a free. Yeah. Tapped on the ankles to the umpire. So he gets up and goes wide. And the mark is taken out the far side of the ground. So they look to again to bring the ball back inside. Again, dangerous kick, but they get away with it. Carriger has taken the mark. He's been asked to play on by the umpire now. Tries to get around Lentini. Goes wide with the kick. Lee, the mark was turned over there to Barlow and Barlow, he goes quickly back into the forward line. His kick wasn't much better and the mark has again been taken out there by Morrison once again. So Morrison again to put the ball back towards centre wing. Morland's got out the back. Good jump. Good mark. That's a good mark. So Matty Warren just to settle things down. Ooh, ball comes oh, out that's hand. 50, is it? Ooh, oh, gee, no. It was very close. Probably could have paid that one. He looks up and goes inside. Mark is taken out there. Tucker. So again, a little bit of possession footy. No rush. A little short chip over the top. Carriage comes up again. And he takes the mark. And he goes a little bit quicker this time into the half forward line. Mark out there. Not taken by Flacavento at ground level. Picked up there. Berg just needs to pick the ball up. Can't do so. Flacavento got back and took possession of it. Handballs out. Only as far as Brooks tried to take him on. Was tackled. Umpire says dropping the ball. And uh, Timmy Barton will be the recipient of the free kick. Well, he can hold his head up high. Yeah, he's been good, Timmy. So Barton now to bring the ball towards centre wing on the far side of the ground. Etridge out the backs, comes across, can't take the mark at ground level, picked up and put down. A good strong tackle. I think that was Matty Warren, I think, on hands and knees. Gets the handball away, back to Carriger. Again, he goes into the half forward line. Will Ford comes up and takes the mark. Now he's in range. You can kick the distance from there. So he's now equal leader in the league with Kennedy Hunt, 31 each. Oh, decides so to go short. Still will be. And oh. 13 drops the mark. Ah, oh, 13. That's good. Well, 13's Four. an unlucky number, that isn't is. it? That yeah. is. He would have been better to kick the goal himself, yes, I think. Yes, I think so. They moved the ball quickly towards centre wing. Over the top, that was a good jump yeah, out there by Jackson. It. Couldn't take possession of it. Picked up by Sulix. Goes towards uh, James. He runs and carries. Got some numbers back inside. Didn't even look that way. Goes long line. And that was a good kick. And the mark has been taken out there by Etridge. Umpire, umpire says it hit the ground. But it's Page now. Kicks the ball off the ground. So it's kept alive. Holzfein comes up. It's Wallen, got the handball out. They've got numbers back there again, and Govan steadies things down short to Budavalis, and he takes the mark outside defensive 50. Again, a short kick back inside. Oh, Jennings was on the wrong foot there, but he took the mark. Plays on quickly, comes outside, and will hit Brown. So Brown now, he goes along the boundaries. Run-up player again, forward, presenting well. Options over the top. He goes short. Brooks is there, Ooh, and he Careful. takes the mark. On the right foot this time, good quick movement, good Look use of the ball, and that's a great kick, and the mark has been taken out there by Tucker. And he will go back from about 25 metres out directly in front and shoot for their 15th goal. He come from Grovedale, Brooks. Brooks. Uh, so Bowen heads, but he was Grovedale Jr. before 2016. From the uh, Forsman Recruiting Factory. Goes all right. Yeah, he moves well. Like a boat can kick left and right foot too. Tucker it is here now in front of goal, and he has not Missed kicked it. it, and through for a minor score. David Tucker, one goal, one for the afternoon. 14-14, now to Winchelsea. They tr uh, lead, sorry, Belpo still on seven goals, ten. Ten minutes gone, final quarter. Shane Limer from fullback. Kicks in, Torps. Barreled it. Love the Torp. Goes towards... Uh, 
Well, Ford was there with McNamara. Sawney over the top of it. Famer. Oh, hang on. Over the shoulder. High. Oh, James going to run away. Oh, come back. Joey's going to get the free kick. That left half forward. Oh, he thought about the short kick. Pop it up so somebody can take it. Yeah, drive grab. it in deep. Yeah, get in there to... Oh, there, you there, you there you go. There you go. Tucker. How easy he is this, Tommy? Yeah, Big Tommy. Uh, mate, it's not that hard sometimes. It's hard to tell you. So Tucker's taking the mark, and he will shoot for goal. Left forward pocket at uh, 25 out. He'll be just be able to guide this through for his second. Well, you said that about three minutes ago, and he didn't. Oh, that was Dale. Oh, I, get I didn't say he was, like, he was 25 minutes straight in front. Didn't say kick it. There you go. He missed that one as well. Yeah, I know. What's he doing? Spraying him everywhere. So Tucker, one goal, two. Drag him, 14, 15, 99. Winchell C, Belpo still 7, 10, 52. Smith's Old Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard. 11 minutes played. Lima to himself, plays on now, comes out long. Barton is going to be the target, but in front. It's, uh, Mark is not taken there by Govins, goes through his hands and over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in to take place. Between centre wing and half forward. blue has been able to keep the ball in there again. Thrown in by the umpire. Tar up doing some ruck work now. Front of the contest. Again, he goes back and tries to collect it, but Hernan's there. He's tackled. Put his head down. It goes to Holzfeen. Oh. the ball. Oh. And he was already over the boundary line, says the umpire. So it'll go back. Oh, almost hit. Ooh. Almost hit the uh, toddler just behind us. They're going to throw this in. Yep. The out, out before he kicked it. Yeah, really? I think so. As he kicked, money was over the line. Okay. That's in me blind spot here. Is it? Yep. Speaking of blind, grubby. I'm off the grog, mate. I'm not blind. No, no, Winchell C will play the Hawks the same day as Werribee's past players. Yeah, I know. What's going to happen? Well, I'm telling you what's going to happen. <laughs> what you bloody will want. Speaking Ball. of the blind. <laughs> back comes in now at the back, goes towards Sawney. Also Merrick back on the ground. Sawney releases a ball. Don't know whether it was correctly well, disposal. Well, he dropped it to finish. Picked up there. Hernan looked for the runners outside, but the only runner out there was James. So he takes it now. There's a free no, kick. There's a free kick that Winch back beyond the play. Hernan. Hernan. Who against? Did anybody see that? No. So Hernan it is now. He goes towards the forward pocket. Tucker's out there. Oh! Good that week, Tucker. Kick it this time, son. Needs to finish off his good work there. That's three marks inside 50 this quarter, isn't it? He looks like he's going to start Allen. Oh, mate. Boxing. You won seven out of the last eight. One game's not going to hurt you too much, Tone. He's not going to uh, take the chance this time. He passes off and he goes to Carriger. <laughs> Come on, cheer up, mate. Seven out of the last eight. One game's not going to hurt you. <laughs> Carriger just inside the 50. We'll kick from right on 50, I think. I think it might. I think he's looking to uh, have a crack himself here. Warland's in short now. But he's going to load up. Goes long, and it won't come back anywhere near far enough and through for a minor <laughs> score. So Carriger with two goals, one. We reckon it should be one goal, two. And he's now 14, <laughs> 16. <laughs> Seven oh, goals, he's 10. He's like a dog with a bone, isn't he? Oh, I love a bone. <laughs> Seven goals, 10. Belpo still 30 minutes gone, final quarter. Lima kicks it in. And finds Urquhart. And he just chips the ball to holes fine. Uh-oh. Oh, just did he take the mark? No. no. The umpire. 12, gets it from half back, goes to centre wing. Jackson goes up, has not taken a mark all day. Jackson, he's done that every one he's tied to go. Dan Gray, bang! Oh. He might get a kick. Goes to the right foot, kick inside 50, two on one, getting back. To, oh, rove beautifully in the back by There you go, Carlin. first GDFL yeah, goal for fantastic. Georgie Carlin. Georgie Carlin. <laughs> oh, he's a funny man. Josh Carlin kicks his first. This will be his second kick for the day too, I think. 8, 10, 58, bell post hill. Winchell C, 14-16, 100. Smith's Old Blood Suzuki, final quarter scoreboard, 14 played. The big fella's coming up. Uh, that's the other thing. You watch young, oh, well, not young, old Halsey. He started to get a bit tired. Now, that's, the, that's the, the price you probably pay for bringing a bloke and putting him straight back in. You know he can play footy, but after the bumps and everything, the match practice, it's just not there. And even Tari, he didn't come off that much, Tari. He's come off a few times today. So they've got to get games back into these blokes, which they mm. obviously will. They've got plenty of time. And as you said, they've got pretty much eight players out. Mm. So eight players that most of them will come into this side. So I wouldn't be going right in this mob off just yet. Mm -hmm. uh, back in the middle of the ground we go. And Barton back in doing the ruck work. Books over the top this time. He left it for his uh, teammate. Ends up in the hands of Brown. He goes back into the half forward line. 
A little bit wider than that now. It uh, travels towards the boundary line. Ball, will it go over? No, it's picked up by Tucker. Tried to keep it alive and did so. And the back laugh, it's now picked up well. Got the handball away, but it goes over the boundary line. Umpire says throw it in. Where's Brown from, Alex? Oh, Caleb Brown's been a junior here oh, the right, whole okay. time. Okay. Gee, you, right love, you love to see that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Hey? Well. well, you look around, the locals, Tyson Berg, yeah. Bailey Kale. Yeah. There's probably a good five or six yeah. of them in the midfield right now. Did you say that right? Yes, yes I did. You, I meant, you meant number 13. I'm actually tapping myself on the back. I'm pretty happy with that. You've got to look down every time you say it. Ball out the back, goes to Holzfein, doesn't pick it up immediately, and still can't pick the ball up, but he's still underneath the contest, dives on top, ball comes out eventually, goes to James, tries to get around him, got the handball oh, away. Umpire said gone. no, it was incorrect oh, yes. disposal. Good tackle there by Alex Govins. Probably one of the better games I've seen him play. Has uh, been mentioned by Grubby on a number of occasions They've today. done their homework on this, James. They're not letting him run and bounce. So Govins now loads up. He goes back inside. Where's Tucker? Ball out the back. Goes to Barlow. Quite one for him today. And he picks the ball up and goes back into the middle. Kick wasn't good. Morrison's oh, in front. And he takes the uh, mark. Going back the other way this time. Morrison, short and quick, will go to Tucker. Gets it. Runs on. Looks towards goal, but goes short. Ford comes up. And Mark is not taken. He sits over the top of it. He's got to get it out. Umpire says uh, he's okay. And uh, we are ball up about 25 to 30 metres out from the Winchelsea goal. We've had a couple of those half follies here today, haven't we? I, I, I reckon Edward just did touch the ground. I thought it did. Yeah. So the ball is thrown up. Barton taps the ball back towards the boundary line. Well, it's a little bit too much Ooh, uh, that, speed there. You've from very the rarely seen that over the years. Because he's the quickest bloke over four or five metres I've ever seen, Holsworth. Holzine, Holzine whatever his name is. Holsworth. Holzing, Holzine. <laughs> Have another sip, bro. Well, is he in that Italian side? <laughs> no, he's in the Austrian. <laughs> Austria. He actually, he did his knee while ho- um, showing his Austrian um, relatives how to wakeboard on the Bowen River. So that cost him a season. So ball back in his hands now, Holzfein. He goes quickly towards centre wing, coming out. Ball is not Ooh. taken cleanly, but Morrison was there to clean it up. Takes a bounce, stops and looks and goes long. Into the forward line, forward on a big lead. Can't take the mark. McNamara not an inch behind him. He was just right there and he smacked it away. Ball in dispute. Ford picked it up and fell over. Handball over the top. Goes to Dozen. Steps back inside. Had to get the handball away, but only as far as Morrison. So they turn it over again. Some good pressure. Which you'll see they go back and it's Gubbin. Goes short. And the mark has been taken far side. I think that's Will Ford right out there at the moment. He's going to go back to Govan again. Over the top. Game coming up, and that's Jennings. And he has been okay for his first yeah, game today as well. Oh, he's been better than okay. Goes quickly into the forward line. Tucker doesn't take the mark. Went back and collected it. Got a handball away. Muir overran the ball. Barlow puts himself over the top of the contest. He picks it up. Don't know whether that was a throw out, but he got it out anyway. Went towards Flacavento. Out towards centre wing. The ball goes. Coming across. Sulix couldn't take the mark. Out the back. Picked up again. And I'm thinking Harding, Harding was it? Yep. Got the handball back inside, got the one two, and he looks up and goes back inside. Thirteen can't take the mark. Dale <laughs> Flammer goes outside, and the ball is picked up there from Brown. A high kick, and where will it land? The only one that kept his eye on it was Tucker. Then picked up by Barton, who's lying on the ground, got it away to Gray. Runs away, handballs over the top. Lentini, he looks, goes back to Wells, short outside, Uh-oh. and Merrick oh just inside God. the field of play will take the mark. <coughs> Merrick now, not many options for to the ball. The Blues have got back nicely. His kick is poor, but it will hit Zulik nearly on the chest. Can't pick the ball up. Taps it out towards James. He picks it up, takes him on. Stripped out of his hands by Wells. Got the handball away. No, he won't. He'll go oh, short. And the mark is being taken out there by Harding once again. So Harding, uh, a couple of touches in the game now. Goes sideways. We'll find Gubbins. Gubbins again has a player wide place. And he takes the mark, steady things down. Options seem to be opening up for Winchelsea now. They go quickly. The kick wasn't good. Flacavito couldn't take the mark. Relief there with Barton. He picks up and just goes bang. Slids the ball back the other way. Out towards place. And also Carlin. Ball is tapped further afield. But it's Govins there to do the clean-up work again. Kicks round the boundary. Good kick. Budavalis takes the mark on centre wing. And Budavalis just setting things down now. Comes back inside. The oh, kick wasn't good. Is that another half volley? The umpire says it's OK. Not this time. And Harding will take the mark. So he's going to go you back to guess Gubbins, back in space by himself. He goes forward this time, finds Caracher, a little bit of possession football. They go across the ground, and Brooks has taken the mark. Left and right foot, doesn't matter with this big fella. Kick, short, good. Mark is taken out there, this time by Jackson. 
Jackson's going further afield, going towards Brown. Good hands. Has a runner inside Sav Tab Sawney, but he ignored that one. He's going to look longer. Tucker seems to be black with all the hands. Kale can't take the mark out the back forward. Picked it up. Brown put it down. Umpire said it was high. So free kick will go to Will Ford. So Tucker has led. Kicks the ball in that direction. A shocking kick. It was a bad kick. The kick uh, lead was okay. Picked up there. Kick back towards by Spriggs. Look out. Look out. And out of his bump. got his goal. Second for the afternoon. And the 15th for Winchelsea. 15-16. Winchelsea 8-10 to Bell Post Hill. 21 minutes gone. Final quarter. Smith's holding blood Zuki. Final quarter scoreboard. But when you're hot, you're hot. Because he's just kicked it out of his bum. And he's just gone bang <laughs> from the middle of the pack. And they can just do no wrong. I'll tell you what, you'll go a long, take a long, long time to see how blokes like Lentini and Fantella play a game like this again. They'll never play another game like this. They, they've been oh, down. I'm not going to criticise them too much because they've been such great players. But, geez, they've had, had some players who can play a lot better than this, just haven't been. And I think you've got to give Winchelsea credit for, been for, for being, making them do that. Yeah, they've been fantastic, the Blues. Back in the middle. Tar having a run in the ruck. Brown roves it. Goes to right half forward. Well, gets back there, takes the mark. For Bell Post Hill, wants to switch play. James and Merrick. James, oh! good mark. Oh! Little belt Center wing. Plays on now. The right foot kick. Inside 50. Gubbins. Give him the voucher. Jeez, Gubbins look at gets that. Gets back there, takes the mark. Fred Beard medal today. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. He kicks the ball, Gubbins. You got one? And they're going to get one struck. And what's that go for? Yeah, that's the player of the day, every, every, and then we're going to pick one at the end of the year. We're going right to give on. it to the one that we just see. So we see Belbo's still eight times, bad luck. Yeah, that's, that's, the way that's what yeah. they used to yeah. do, the tanking. That's fair yeah. enough. Yeah, the tanking. That's right. Matty Wallen at half back. It's supposed to be a full tanker, but Ronnie Brown used to drink it all the time. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Brony. <laughs> Brown, short. Oh, Jackson, well, does nicely. James. To run, get away, right foot kick towards half forward, or it's kick to kick between him and Gubbins at the moment. He takes the mark again inside at half back. Budivalis goes out to Harding. He takes the mark. They switch the ball to the other side. He goes along the line. Blue's still running nicely. Sprig, I think it is. Kick backwards, Harding. Just taking the piss now. Winch. <laughs> Just kicking it, kicking it away. Sorry, other. I'm not allowed to say nah. rat something. Well, but <laughs> I'm, I'm allowed to do this week. They're taking the piss. You're the junior. And he gets you. Yeah. I'm here at the top. Not going to set the example. <laughs> <laughs> I'm way past it. Lithuanians aren't supposed to swear. Right, yeah, they're yeah. really taking the piss now because Gubbins has done it four times in the last 25 seconds. He gives it to Matty Wallen. It's a training run out here now. They're all witches hats. He goes towards half forward. Carriage up. Now they mucked it up. Lentini, he mucks it up as well. Berg, he can't take it with him. Oh, Joey comes in. On hands and knees, ripped off it. Muir, umpire, Punce. Oh, he yep. loves it, doesn't he? Punce. It's an half back. For Bell Post Hill. Lentini. Doesn't even know he's got the free kick. Well, Muir it is, actually. That's why he didn't know he had That's it. That's why he didn't know he had it. All right, Grubby. <laughs> I got there first. Take it easy. Lentini <laughs> takes the mark. Oh. Now, they're just going to tip it around, too. You're eight goals behind, boys. Yeah, well, Smithy's not playing fair. Muir. Well, <laughs> He goes to Ballow in the middle. Cody Earl will get a kick in a minute. Cody Earl. <laughs> I saw him in the paper yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our thoughts are oh, with him. David yeah. Olsfied takes the mark. It's disposal number 10 for him. Goes to Muir. He goes inside 50. Horrid. Got a couple against him. Budavalis comes across. Picks it up. Runs free at half back. Handballs it. Harding. Through traffic. Back to Budavalis. Now he goes with a tumbling punt towards Ford. Merrick gets there. Ford got a couple oh, against him. Got yeah. around. Handball. Needs some support. <laughs> Brooks comes at it. He meets a couple. Merrick's one of them. He gets... Oh, oh. I don't know what was going on there. Oh. But anyway, he mucked that up. Ford goes along with the kick. Tucker over the head of he. And also Gray, who gets around. He's having a sterling last quarter. Goes back. Oh, crap kick, though. Brooks runs in. Kicks a behind. So was that. Oh, just blow the siren. Brooks... Oh, we've still got about 15 minutes to go. Three yet. behinds. No, we haven't. 20, oh yeah. 24 and a half played. We need a buzzer Final over here. Final turn. Winchell C. 15, <laughs> 17, 107. They lead Bell Post till 8, 10, 58. Smith's holding blood Suzuki. Final quarter scoreboard. So, Lyme were again with the uh, 
it's kick in from the fullback position. Lead up play out. Oh, oh no. no. Wasn't a good kick. The tar on hands and knees. Able to tap it out towards Merrick. Further afield. He taps it out towards Muir. Has to go back and collect it quickly on the boot, but he's over the line as he uh, kicked the ball. Yep. So we'll go back to the bound umpire and he will ball it in. Inside forward 50. That's something they've been able to do pretty nice all day, the Blues. Keep the ball in their forward line. And that's hard to do against Bell Post Hill. Very hard to do. About to be put back into the field of play. Was Tara just doing some ruck work. Do they take so long to put the ball back into play here? Yep. Yeah. They set themselves and look to see where the umpire is and everyone else is and make sure their mother's not got the camera out. And ben, Timmy Barton, a high fend off then. And Brown it will be that will come up with the free kick. I think I've got your news story for you too, Alex. Yeah? Yeah. Just look out the window to your left at the captain of Bell Post Hill with an arm and a sling. Yep. Mm. He got the works. He had the ankle looked after <laughs> at half time. He got the shoulder and he got the knock at the <laughs> second quarter. He's bashed up a bit, the cap. The full combo meal. Uh, Brown now steps up, kicks towards goal, just dropping it into the wards of 10 metre line, but Tars there and stands strong, takes the mark. Big fella with a bit of dash, plays on, goes from the half back line, kicks back outside, coming across. Mark is not taken, Berg's there, he cleans up, goes out the back to Jennings, got through a little bit oh. of traffic, did nicely, put boot to ball, went back inside 50, howl at full, comes out the back, Storney, looks like he's going to run onto it, picks it up, looks at goal, and Tab Storney had missed, missed. it. Jeez. 15-18 for the Winchelsea side. 8-10 to Bell Post Hill. 26 and a half gone final quarter. You know, we speak about Cam Addy, our interleague captain. Winchelsea had three interleague nominees this year and two of them aren't even playing today. So it goes to show you they do have a bit of depth. Well, they're going to need to because they've got eight. Line up, kicks it in. Looks for Tari. Got three against him. He's coming. Oh, no. yeah, I thought he had a hold against yeah, him too. Yeah, so did I. Hernan in there, fighting hard for it. Handball, no. Over the boundary line. So we'll have a throw in. Left 30, half forward. For 33 Belfort. shots to 18. You don't see that very often. No, no you don't. That's it. Left half forward. Winch into attack. Kick one goal five. His last quarter too, Winch. Zulix, handball. Back to Welve. For step kick was smothered. Goes towards... Carlin, who gets it to James. Budavales wraps him up. He's gone too. Walsh. There's no way back. he handballed that. Goes to Wallen. Matty takes the mark. It's an half back. Plays on handball. Goes out wide to Morrison. I'm not filming. I'm not goes, filming. Goes towards the middle of the ground. <laughs> Sprig takes the mark. We can all still hear you, Grubby. Sprig now. <laughs> Chip over the top. Oh, he's turned it over. The and there will be a, a mark taken to Fett for Fantella. <laughs> He chips out wide. Like a mental yeah. Siren. Siren. That's, that's the like. shortest quarter ever. That's what we like. 28 minutes. And it's Winch. 15, 18, 108. They have defeated. Dun, da, 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 da. 8, 10, dun, 15. Da, 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 da. <laughs> we are the Navy Blues. We are the old dark Navy Blues. Oh, God, We're the team. Oh, I've got, I finally got to sing it. <laughs> Don't encourage him too much. I've finally got to sing it. So 15, 18, 108, which will see. They have defeated Bell Post at 8, 10, 58. Goal kickers, Dale. Yes, for the home side, Will Ford with four. Walsh, Spriggs and Carriage with two. One each to Fama, Kale, Tucker, Inglis, Berg and for Bell Post Hill. They're eight goals, two to Etridge, one each to Carlin, James, Page, Sulix, Tar and Horan. So the Blues at home, big winners by 50 points over Bell Post Hill. We'll take a break, and when we come back, we'll have the final siren. Thanks to Buckley's Entertainment Centre. We'll wrap everything up from Match Day Live this afternoon. You're listening to 94.7 The Pulse.